So here at your college convocation or at another one of the convocations of the university, uh, I just wanted to uh, just congratulate you on behalf of the entire university, tell you how proud we are of all of you, that you stuck with your programs, that you have moved towards graduation, that you have adapted to and uh, found a way to move forward in the middle of this global pandemic, that you have proven to be resilient, that you have pr proven to be determined. Uh, uh, this is not easy for anyone, faculty, staff. I, I really praise and honor our faculty and our staff for, for being there, for making things happen. But for you, the, the graduates, I mean, it really is a moment in time in the middle of the greatest uh, pandemic in 100 years you're graduating. You're graduating well-educated, you're graduating well-prepared, you're graduated, graduating in what I refer to as a master learner status. Our goal is not to produce a worker uh, or a person who knows how to do X, Y, or Z. Our goal is to produce a person capable of learning anything. Uh, we feel that you are ready for that. We feel that you can move forward. Uh, the world needs your skills and your assets and your talent and your drive and your resilience and your energy more than ever. Uh, I'm hopeful that all of you can find a way to build your own personal charters, that you can build some set of aspirations for yourself and then go at it. You have one life. Uh, you are moving forward in a very critical moment in human history. And so let's just make it happen. And so congratulations to all of you. Look forward to working with you in the future. Arizona is home to 22 indigenous tribes. Arizona State University's campuses are situated on the homelands of many tribal nations. In particular, the Aatum and Pipash, and acknowledge the many indigenous communities who reside in this territory. Skigik is the Aatum word that is now known as Phoenix, which was settled in 1881 by occupiers. The ancestors of the Aatum, the Huhugam, created canals and utilized surrounding rivers that are the basis of the current irrigation system that feeds Skigik today. These waterways have always been the foundation and livelihood of the residents within the valley. Throughout the past 500 years, the impact of colonialism have been detrimental to indigenous lands and languages, affecting their livelihood. Many people who live in the Southwest are unaware of this history. Furthermore, ASU's indigenous student community consists of over 3,000 strong, not including faculty, staff, and alumni, who continue to thrive, educate, and advocate for the strengthening of indigenous ways of life. As the Aatum call it, Himdak, the way of life for the Aatum, encompassing their culture, traditions, identity, and being. As Aatum and indigenous peoples, our identity is tied to the land. Like our own bodies, we must respect and care for it, and we urge everyone to do the same. We challenge you to educate yourself about the history and the communities who continue to thrive today. Moving forward, it is vital to honor and respect that you are always on Indigenous land.
Welcome graduates, and parents, uh, friends from all over the world, wherever you are, uh, whatever device you're watching this on, just take a moment to realize that this is a huge deal. Uh, by my accounts, graduates, you have worked well over 10,000 hours practicing and rehearsing and performing and designing and building and writing. Um, you know, a degree from the Herber Institute is as difficult a degree uh, in, of any program anywhere at this university or anywhere in the world. We have demanded uh, the, the most from you. We have expected your best and you have absolutely delivered and we are proud that you're standing here today, but you know, you did not run this race of education alone. You have had people uh, along the, the bend uh, with huge signs saying, you can do it, congratulations, uh, keep working, keep, keep running, we're so proud of you. Parents and friends and dogs and cats, all these cheerleaders who have uh, had your back uh, right now, if there's someone sitting next to you that uh, has been a supporter, grab their hand and and, and make sure they, they feel the emotional energy of your gratitude. Uh, if they're not with you, uh, reach out and make a phone call or, or send a note um, to make sure that we're celebrating all the people that have helped you along this journey. Um, you know, uh, I, I was thinking about this article I read just uh, the other day in the state press about um, a first generation student, Amber, who arrived uh, at ASU on her first day, she found a parking space and she describes how she sat in her car and she wept and she cried and she shook because she just didn't know whether she could do it. She didn't know whether she belonged. She didn't know whether, uh, whether somehow she was uh, a fraud. And she got to class and, she, and the feelings didn't go away. They only intensified and she looked around and she thought, well, these other students must know something that I don't because uh, I'm feeling this extraordinary anxiety and insecurity and, 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 and a lack of belonging in this place. And she described this as sort of the imposter syndrome. And of course, I have felt that you have felt that we have all felt the imposter syndrome. Uh, when I started in college, when I started in graduate school, uh, always felt like, you know, other people knew things that I didn't. And somehow maybe I wasn't cut out for this work. When I arrived in my first, first year as dean here, the first day, you know, uh, six and a half years ago, I thought this job is too big. This is too complicated. Too many demands. There's no way they must not really have seen who I am because I'm not capable of this. Um, so I'm here to tell you right now, this stops. Uh, let's put a stake in the heart of the imposter syndrome and declare that you belong. You have the capacity to succeed in any situation. And if you find yourself in a context in the future that is unfamiliar or difficult that or otherwise stretching you in new ways, you are no longer ever allowed to say that you do not belong or that uh, perhaps you're an imposter because uh, you are now a graduate of the New American University. You are now a graduate of the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts and you are a master learner. You are a creative force. You know how to ask fantastic questions and to, uh, to, to see every challenge as a puzzle, not to retreat from, but to embrace. And so today with this uh, degree and, and today's graduation, you are walking out of that imposter suit into a full bodied armor suit of curiosity, of creativity, and of confidence. Now, a college degree matters. It is like a light switch that turns on and changes your trajectory for the rest of your lives. We know that college graduates uh, on average over the course of their lifetime make a million dollars more than someone who did not complete a college degree. We know that you will live healthier lives on average, that you will live longer lives. Your life expectancy will be many years longer than someone who did not go uh, to college and we know on average you'll be happier and healthier and you will uh, if you decide to be in a long-term relationship um, that that relationship will more likely endure compared to someone who didn't uh, go to college so these are all extraordinarily uh, extraordinary private benefits that you will gain from in your life and that you have deserved because you have worked hard and we are we are, we are honoring you today uh, and celebrating these accomplishments but your degree today is not just a uh, private benefit to you and your family and your trajectory, but to the world. It is a public good 
because a college graduate is more tolerant in the world. A college graduate is more likely to lead. A college graduate is more likely to start an enterprise and to volunteer and to give to charity and to vote. And so uh, today's uh, graduation is also a celebration of our public good uh, because your degree and your work in the world now will move our world a little closer to justice and to progress and to creativity. Now, a degree from an arts and design college is a fantastic degree at this moment. Um, uh, we know that arts and design graduates are among the happiest professionals based on research. We know that 90% uh, of graduates will, will say that they will use the creativity that they learned in college uh, in, in, in throughout their lives in any job, any endeavor, uh, any pursuit. Uh, we know that researchers suggest that half the economy will be automated in the next 20 to 30 years. Entire um, categories of occupations will largely go away. And those same researchers tell us that it is uh, arts and design jobs that are least likely to be automated. And that is because you guys know um, how to create emotionally resonant stories and symbols and experiences and spaces that uh, you know how to make connections. You know how to improvise. You know how to fail and then rebuild. You know how to be unbelievably original. And these are things that a machine uh, and artificial intelligence will never be able to master the way you have. We also know that you are well prepared to help put back together our fragile democracy. So many people right now are holding on with clenched fists to what they know. And you are doing an extraordinary job of opening up and asking and embracing what you don't know and uh, reaching out with an open hand towards the future and imagining new possibilities and reaching back and grabbing other people to bring along with you on your creative journey because you know how to engage people in a deep and meaningful way. As you leave today, don't ask, what can I do with that, with this degree? I have told you already uh, that you can do almost anything, that you have exactly the skill set that you need for a 21st century economy. I think the more interesting question for you to ask right now is, who can I share my ideas with? Who can I bring along on my journey? This is a time for you to think about your network and how to build it and how to strengthen it. So just here at ASU, uh, over your time, you have probably 40 or 50 faculty that are now in your network. You've got, depending on how social you've been, somewhere between five and 200 classmates that are in your network, a dozen staff that are in your network, and hundreds and hundreds of alumni who you may not have met yet, but who are part of your network because they're part of the ASU family and they will be there for you when you reach out and when you uh, ask for help or seek an opportunity. This network is woven together and it's a powerful trampoline that will propel you in life and it will also be a net that catches you when you fall and helps you back up on your feet. 85% uh, of all new jobs for graduates are found through their personal network. So take a moment in the next few months and reach back out to every single person that you have connected with at this university. Even if it's only a loose connection and you haven't stayed in touch, this is the time to reach out, to, uh, to let people know what's happening with you, to ask a question, to share an idea, uh, and to reform uh, these powerful uh, uh, bonds that will serve you for the rest of your life. You know, this is a remarkable moment in the history of our world. Uh, there is so much uncertainty. There is so much swirling around us. Um, and there's one thing for sure, though, that there's this deep and powerful gravitational pull at the center of all this uncertainty. And that is the certainty of your success today and your accomplishments uh, in your time here with us. You have done extraordinary work and you are now a graduate of the new American University. And we are so proud of you. And we ask that as you go out in the world, that you share your successes with us, that you inspire the next generation of students behind you, and that you continue um, to uh, celebrate uh, what you've accomplished here. And we know that you will do everything that you endeavor to do 
because you are extraordinary energetic forces in our world. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. The Alumni Association has presented the Moore Award since 1901 to those graduates with a 4.0 GPA who completed their coursework toward their degree while attending ASU for eight consecutive semesters. This year, we have six students who are receiving this award. Congratulations to all of these students and their accomplishments. Our school directors have messages that they would like to share with you. After each director's message, we'll display the names of the graduates of that school. You can view individual personalized slides for bachelor's and master's degree recipients on the Herberger Institute Ceremony website. Doctoral degree recipients can view their slides on the university commencement ceremony site. Hello, School of Art graduates. On behalf of all the faculty and staff in the School of Art, congratulations to you on your graduation day. You did it. You made it across the finish line and we know it wasn't easy. It is never easy. This semester in particular has not been easy. It's been more challenging than any of us had expected. Your creativity, adaptability, and persistence have served you well in this time of unprecedented change in the world. In this past semester, all of you have made art or studied art in new and unexpected ways. You've perfected your expression and have discovered new means of doing so. You've worked with alternative tools and materials. You've engaged with your peers, professors, and learning communities remotely, and your work has been exhibited virtually. And still, above all else, you made your art, you studied it, and you've shared it with us, your community, your family, and your friends. Congratulations. To celebrate you, we've included some images of your work in this video. These images remind us of your accomplishments and your work's ability to speak to us across the boundaries of the gallery space. These images are also a testament of your adaptability, resilience, persistence, and ability to find creative solutions no matter where you work and no matter the materials, the tools, or the exhibition space. This is what it means to be in the arts. You make your art and you share your insights however you can. As you move into post-graduation life, please keep doing this. Please keep making your art. We need you to make your art in spite of any challenges that come your way now or in the future. And society needs you to make your art. As a society, we need the arts more than ever right now. For wellness, for problem solving, for sparking our imaginations, and for inspiring us when times are tough. So again, please keep making your art. And again, congratulations from all of us to all of you and warmest wishes for continued success and the very brightest days ahead. Chen Shi Jiang, Yi Liang Sun, Hannah Grace Zeisman, Jace Christian Becker, Aaron Lee Kuhn, Madison Jean Stratford, Eliza Mora Weber, Rachel Marie Abbott, Grace Catherine Louise Abrams, Fatima Ali Kalfan Sulaim Al Yakubi, Violet Rose Arma, Jacqueline Alyssa Arnold, Christine Michelle Ballen, Duigu Bader Poiraz, Falcon Alexia Bigney, Paige Lynn Blancet. Giovanna Boneo Encinas, Joy Marie Branson, Julia Rocio Campos, Ann Chipman, Marissa Carol Cohen, 
Larissa L. Collins. Michelle A. Cratty Bullock. Jake Christopher Dorito. Monica Lindegard. Charles Izat Diab. Kevin Diaz. Nicoletta Janine Debucci. Catherine J. Dixon. Victoria Carmen Dominguez. Merritt E. Eads. Tanya Crystal Estadillo. Gregory James Freeman. Jerry Ann Fulton. Tara Gallo. Jessica Michelle Gibson. Ashley Jin. Aureli Gonzalez. Summer Ann Horkham. Kalina Nicole Horning. Catherine Cooley Howe. Aubrey Tyler Jacobs. Brian James Jatan. Ashley Faye Johnson. Melissa Corey. Anna E. Labatt. Rachel Simone Lappy. Hannah Ray Laughlin. Jennifer Leahy. Jordan Lester. Yixuan Li. Xinyue Liang. Margaret V. Magadan. Sophia Catherine Manning. Lacey K. Medina. Caitlin Brianne Miller. Sarah Morris. Jody Beth Nelson. Marlene Ortega. Jimmy Padilla. Morgan Pala. Annalise N. Patton. Nicole Peterson. Melanie Pruneau. Miranda Victoria Rhodes. Priscilla Jean Rhodes. Marley Rose Rich. Bliss Ann Robertson. Joan Stiefel Rodriguez. Carla L. Rosado Resto. Elizabeth Rupp. Samantha Kristen Salib. Sinclair Salinas. Alexandra Marie Sanchez. Emily Marie Genevieve Sarda. Coleman C. Schweiger. Minghua Shang. Kara Lynn Smeraldo. Bradley Sorensen. Erica N. Tillman. Fernanda Velasquez. Gregory Vogel, Jr. Brianne Nicole Waddell. Juliana Marie Walters. C. Yi Wang. Cassandra Williams. Amanda Lane Woodgrift. John Harland Diego. Tracy Lee Yost. Dominic Zafino. Gabrielle Marie Zeiss. Jennifer Alexandra Arigi. Lauren Elizabeth Austin. Brandy Ballard. Grace Barron. Brandon David Burrell. 
Mark Checky. Kristen B. Church. Sabrina Cavelli. Tyler Jordan Guthrie. Isabel C. Hahn. Rachel Ann Hebert. Loretta Ann Heenan. Madison Hetrick. Valerie Ingrid Infranco. Sarah Whipple. Sylvia Celine Jordan. Diana Pauline Dumlao Joseon. So Yun Jung. Leah Kuek. Alex Ethan Lewis. Henry Hong Ren Lee. Connor M. Magira. Marissa Mata. Rhonda K. McClelland. Madeline K. Meadows. Emily Sarah Melek Karamov. Desiree Morgan. Allison Nicole Moyers. Victoria Jacqueline Pass. Christopher M. Polensky. Matthew Richards. Danielle A. Roy. Jocelyn Ruiz. Celeste Salcido. Jessica Rachel Sepulveda. Dune Jacob Stewart. Ashley Lynn Thompson. Elena Carey Wittenstein. Sophia Portera Zangara. Hello graduates, congratulations on reaching this milestone. I am Pavan Turaga, Interim Director of the School of Arts, Media and Engineering. It is my honor and pleasure to be here with you today making this convocation speech. You have all been through a lot in the past few months and this is not at all how I imagined my convocation speech to be, but here we are. We have all made adjustments and we continue to adapt to ongoing events around us, but you continue to impress me and the rest of our faculty in how you have shifted the narrative from one of disruption to one of organization, from one of isolation to creating new kinds of online communities and of uncertainty to creativity. As you graduate with your degrees, please know that you have graduated with some of the most exciting skills for the 21st century, ranging from creative media, sound design, 3D modeling, motion capture, augmented reality, and more. But please remember that the lasting skill sets are your ability to constantly learn and adapt and to be a lifelong learner. Only then can you make the best use of the opportunities that present themselves and not just for yourself, but also to create opportunities for those less fortunate than yourselves. With that, I wish you all the best for the future and hope you stay in touch with your advisors, your faculty and the university and be with us on all our respective journeys. Thank you and congratulations again. Katek Kutige Rex Pium Fernando. Elise Claire Weiland. Tyler James Adame. Anthony Arasolo. Sarah Alansari. Chalandra Benali. Joshua Lee Bickle. Zachary Thomas Brueggemann. Macy Alexandra Chu, Michelangelo Cozzo, Anais Gray, Caden Renee Hildreth, Fan Ji, Julian Ellis Johnson, Min Seong Kim, Yuan Bo Lee, Jordan Jacob Machuca, Mackenzie N. Marcello, 
Eleanor Marlo Mars. Kaylee Ray Mingus. Rhiannon Marie Neighbors. Micah Vittoria Aguinaldo Padre Juan. Anthony Joseph Pedroza. Elise Honor Peterson. Jessica Razor. Benjamin Michael Rivera. Rafael A. Sanchez Betty. Noah Ryan Sparks. Timothy K. Stevens. James Donald Stickell. Benjamin Gabriel Talarchik. Louisa Abigail Tribiana. Tessa Camille Tsenef. Terry Wilson. Justin Matthew Hertzberg. Harrison Liam Post. Happy Herberger Institute Convocation Day. I am Heather Landis, director of the ASU School of Music, Dance, and Theater, and it is my pleasure to congratulate and recognize all of our music, dance, and theater graduates. What an interesting and challenging end to your ASU academic career it has been due to the pandemic. And I want to recognize that it has not been easy for any of you, but you should be so proud of your accomplishments, your perseverance, your drive, and your resilience. And I do not just mean in the last year or in the years of your degree, but all the way back to when you first embraced the arts as your calling. And here you are and you did it and you should definitely celebrate. At their most fundamental level, music, dance and theater are languages. They touch our emotions, they can lift our mood, they can make us feel more hopeful and more fulfilled. And as a music, dance, or theater artist, educator, clinical practitioner, or scholar, we have learned that we each have a unique voice, we each have something to say, and we each have ideas about how we will engage with our creativity and how we will engage with others creatively. Please use the lessons that you have learned in the ASU School of Music, Dance, and Theater, particularly in the last year, to continue to develop your own unique voice your own distinct message and your own mission for how you will use your art to make a difference in the lives of others, in the community in which you live and to communicate creatively about what it means to be human with the hope that this uncertain time affords us more possibility for change and adventure than ever before. The ASU School of Music, Dance and Theater faculty and staff join me in congratulating you and celebrating all your accomplishments. Congratulations, graduates. Julia Maxine Broom Robinson. Ashley Elizabeth Conway. Pan Du. Kimberly Michelle Hankins. Melanie Leanne Holm. Malcolm James Arthur Jones. Xuan Liu. Zachary Roberts Mayones, Andrew Stephen O'Neill, Wesley Glenn Skinner, Yi Qian Song, Ding Shuo Tang, Jing Chao Zhou, Xu Zhou, Glenn Wayne Hicks, Sean Patrick Hillen, Soyun Kang, Austin Walter Schoen, Madison Archer, Munira Batul, Sumana Sen Mandala, Anthony Adam Roman Acevedo, Leah Ashley Ale. Kyle Bartlett, Laura Cleverton Barra, Angelique Marie Bodine, Brandon Royce Boudreau, 
Miao Chen. Brittany Lynn Dardis. Jeremy Garcia. Adam David Hayen. Annalise Yu Hui. Anthony Lee Manlucha. Sean McComb. Krista Nichols. Noel Speth Philbin. Mercedes Rogers. Jonathan Vargas. Caitlin Vargas. Svetlana Antropova. Kyle Blomquist. Colin Joseph Caulfield. William M. Deal II. Katana Gardner. Anzane Daisy Hayes. Delia Denise Ibanez. Elena Lass. Anthony Lee. Zuriel Joanne Lloyd. Joseph Jordan Martinez. Jordan Claire Matson. Daniel Elijah Moore. Neam Levy Murphy. Jack Robert Piazza. Caroline Janelle Price. Sterling Joseph Raveling. Amanda Marie Rosenberg. Mahelani Shul. Brianna E. Simmons. Jacob Matthew Simmons. Pilar Maria Smatla. Jennifer Nicole Bretones. Kyle Reza. Kaylee Ray Bonds. Julianne N. Colwell. Alana Ray Fingerman. Lizeth Adriana Gill. Andrew Gonzalez. Madison Lee Griffin. Catherine Jones. Stephen James Carp. Raquel Medina. Bryson Merkley. Thomas Christopher Muglia. Andrew M. Patchen. Matthew Roars. Travis Cress Rowland Jr. Taylor Lynn Sturm. Annie Ross Summer. Philip Voya Tipe. Hi everyone, Phil Horton here. I'm the interim director of the design school and I'm here to congratulate all of our amazing graduates. Uh, you've all done incredible work, especially during a, a very, very difficult time. A college education and completing a college education can be a huge challenge on, on any given year, but certainly in a year like this, uh, for you all to be completing your college education says a great, great deal about you. One thing that I think is important uh, to sort of share with you all is that uh, it's easy in a moment like this to think about how we've been affected by a lot of different difficult situations, uh, but it's a wholly different thing to think about how we've changed through it and particularly how we've grown. Growth isn't something that happens to us, it's something that we produce. Uh, I think many of you have grown uh, substantially through moments like this. That growth is going to propel you forward in a lot of great ways. Uh, you'll inevitably continue to grow as you move forward, and we can't wait to see how you'll grow, either through your professional careers or through uh, further studies or, or whatever you go on to do next. We hope you'll stay in touch. Our alumni are so important, and particularly to uh, reflect years later about how our alumni are doing, having come out of a moment like this will be really important. Uh, we think that you're all going to do amazing things. We're proud of you already. 
thank you for all of your hard work and congratulations to you on your graduation. Binal Barakumar Bavsar. Ala El Anba. Olufela Adedamola Joda. Yanet Martinez. Patrick Christopher Andrus. Si Xing Xiao. Hamad Ahmed I. Al Abdul Razak. Amira Abdulaziz H. Al Fadli. Alexander Gregory Davis. Nicholas Ray Navarrete. Phil Jean Barrett III. William Robert Bray. Jordan Nicole Chisler. Mark Anthony Cookman. Ariel Garcia. Aaron Ann Helfrich. Mason Bilal Hamoud. Journey Sky Norton. Harrison Reich. Sarah Christine Scheel. Brandon Ryan Shimanek. Eileen Tang. Tony Jalen Trujillo. Say We Yang. See Yu Zhao. Allison R. Candace. Claire Murphy. Rebecca Elaine Oberreiter. Michael Jeffrey Buffington Jr. Jessica Taylor Byrne. Noe Salvador Gutierrez. Hello, Fall 2020 graduates. I am Dr. Jason David Scott, Interim Director of the New American Film School and the Herberger Institute at Arizona State University. I just want to take a few minutes to tell you all congratulations. You all in particular have had your educational experience impacted by COVID in ways that none of us have. So many of you had developed these really great plans for your senior year and, and making amazing films, and you had to change those plans more than once. Uh, throughout this year, our faculty and our staff and your fellow students have been so inspired by the way that you have adjusted, innovated, and thrived and how much you've been taking care of yourselves, taking care of your work, and most importantly, taking care of each other. Even though this wasn't the senior year or the graduation any of us would have wanted for you, uh, we're no less excited about sending you off into the world to tell amazing stories and as proud as we can be about what you accomplished while you were here. You are the first graduating class of the New American Film School, a distinction that I hope you carry with honor for the rest of your lives. Congratulations, keep working hard, keep taking care, and keep in touch. Abisai Arturo Alvarez. Haley Andrea Armenta. Ian Q. Baker. Brianna Bevins. Wesley Branch. Amanda Beth Cardoza. Keegan Carlson. Stephanie Ceballos. Daniel Tanner Charnstrom. Adam Christensen. Kennedy Sear. Logan Alexander DZ. Derek Anthony DeSorbo. Adrian Michael Duenas. Ian Erlinson. Sophia Noel Giamalva. Zachary Jacob Halter. Cody Heinig. David Alec Holtz. Carmen James Iovino. Caitlin Taylor Johnson. Nicholas Johnson. 
Michael Brandon Kaufman. Rachel Marie Kennedy. Benjamin Cornegue. Anthony Diego Lopez. Yasna Manjensic. Taylor Lauren Martos. Zaida Monet Matos. Devin Jacob Medina. Hannah Shu Ni Padbury. Louis J. Panessi Jr. Jillian N. Pau. Shannon Nicole Ramsey. Adriana Nicole Robles. Timothy Donald Rader. Ashley Sorensen. Mara Larissa Young Stirrens. Jonathan Francis Trudeau. Amber Lee Varnado. Jonathan Lee Woodham. Timothy Sayasamlov. Yujie Xia. Kelly Bevin Butler. Mosin Garshazbi Moakar. Sophia Victoria Data Viegas. DNA Kiyomi Hunter. Chase Lindsay Norris. Jessica Bailon. Kristen Lee Carson. Matt Charles Christensen. Tanya Marie Eagleston. Michael Hong. Karina Llewellyn. Harley Madison Lugo. Abigail Lauren Park. Holly Elizabeth Peters. Jillian Janet Rodriguez. Bailey Ann Smith. As we conclude the Herber Institute for Design and the Arts Convocation, December 2020, the graduating students have a few thoughts that they'd like to share with you. Way to go, gang. We did it, 2020. If we can survive two semesters of a pandemic and graduate in the middle we can do anything. So I finally did it. I would just like to give a special thanks to my mom, Pat, Ryan, my dad, and Jack and Jenny, and the rest of my family. Thank you guys, and I love you. Congratulations, fellow graduates. Our hard work has paid off. Now here's to the future. Good luck. Thank you to my amazing wife, Nicole, my parents and my brother, my in-laws and my professors for all of the support, guidance and patience you've given throughout my degree. So excited to be part of Class 2020. Thank you to everyone who supported me through my doctoral study at ASU. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Love you. Thank you so much to my friends and family for supporting my dreams and helping me get through college. And to Class of 2020, you should be so proud of yourself. Congrats, we did it. I would like to thank my mom and my dad. Uh, and then I would also like to thank this little girl right here. <laughs> and as well as my friends and family across the globe. Thank you very much. I just wanna thank my friends, my family, and everybody that has helped me throughout this journey. It has been quite a ride, and honestly, I can't wait to make it out to LA. Go Devils. It's been a long journey, but I'm finally done. I'd just like to thank my parents and my fiance for helping me get this far. This has been a day I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Thank you to all of my family and my friends that have supported me over all of these years. Class of 2020. I want to thank God for my parents, my family, friends, and my professors for making me who I am today. I graduated! I just want to give a big thank you to all my family and friends and of course all of my professors. Thank you all so much. You've been a wonderful help. Let's go class 2020. I want to express my sincere thanks to my professor, Robert Hamilton, and my committee members, Dr. Amy Hubert and Dr. Hannah Creveston, and my family. Thanks for all your help. If you're watching this, I have officially graduated from Arizona State University. Thank you to all my friends and family. Thank you, God. Forkum. 
Your time is near, the mission's clear, so just relax, you're doing fine. We're on the highway to the Great Divide, the only rule is it begins. So set the gear shift for the high gear of your soul, you've got to run like a sun devil, out of control. Thank you to my family and friends for all your support through this journey. Thank you to my mentors, teachers, a big shout out to my students at Hamilton High School. Go Devils! Congratulations, ASU Herberger Institute Class of 2020. We can't wait to see how you use all that you have learned here to change lives, to build culture, and to contribute to our public happiness. The world needs your talents more now than ever. We hope that you will come back and join us in person and walk across stage uh, at a future Herberger Institute convocation when it is safe to do so. Uh, good luck, take care, and please stay in touch. Congratulations, graduates. Well